Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 22nd to the 28th of March 2021. Let's get straight into your reading as we always do Virgo and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for Virgo please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Virgos. Message for Virgo. That flew out. <laughs> I always like the first card to fly out. It ties in with your, your energy. So we have judgment. Big card judgment to have. So let's pull another card and see what we get. Message for Virgo, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Virgos. Thank you. 22nd to the 28th of March, 2021. What do we have for Virgo? Thank you message for Virgo please thank you recovery now that could be health uh, physical health that could be financial career and um, obviously love so let's pull some more cards and see what we get okay message for our lovely Virgos thank you message for Virgo 22nd to the 28th of March 2021 what do we have for Virgo please angel spirits guides so as you know Virgo I'm going to pull three cards first card is the issue or challenge the second card is advice from spirit and the third card is your future outcome then we clarify the cards go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you as always okay message for Virgo please message for Virgo please thank you okay three of cups in the challenge position three of swords advice from spirit and eight of wands is your outcome let's clarify go deeper into the message for Virgo what do we have for Virgo please can we clarify the cards on the table for Virgo Twenty second to the 20 oh there we go okay so we have the the ten of cups the emperor with the three of swords and the two of wands with the eight of wands bottom of the deck we have the ace of cups virgo okay virgo so let's pull one more for this three of cups let's pull one more for this three of cups please nine of cups which is your heart's desire a wish coming true it, it feels Virgo that um Judgment is, it can be that energy. I mean, I'm seeing crossroads energy here anyway, where there, there is a call to action. There is some kind of judgment call to make, uh, a requirement to deal with something, to act on something. And it generally asks you to act on something very quickly, judgment. 
uh, something happens and there is a need to act and that's what the universe is saying. Now it can be you might be choosing between two paths here and there is a mess message of choose wisely because there's karma here. It, judgment generally means that whatever decision or choice you make it will stay with you for quite some time. Yeah, and it's to do with how you recover. How you recover. So we have the Three of, of Cups, the Nine of Cups. I mean, these are beautiful energies. I mean, this is uh, it's an energy of unity, uh, a team, um, and it feels to do with this, which, I mean, it can also be a celebration energy. Um, the, in some ways it can be the winter is over, the spring is here because these people are beginning to reap the harvest again. So there's reasons to celebrate with the Three of Cups, but we have the, the Ten of, of Cups here, which is the blissful relationship, the happy ever after. But in the challenge position, it feels like something's caused disharmony. You might have spent some alone time here. It feels like something's happened in the relationship. Yeah. And again, I mean, this is real happiness, fulfillment, joy, contentment. But this is also about in, in the challenge position, it can be about um, evaluating or looking at inner, how you find inner happiness now. Uh, in the challenge position, the, the Nine of Cups can be an element of dissatisfaction. And it feels, it feels like there's some kind of disharmony, something's happened in the relationship. And it's a blissful relationship, perfect match scenario. You can see these two people mirror each other perfectly. It's almost kind of like everything's perfect, like a jigsaw piece is everything fits together perfectly. Um, working hard towards, you know, it's generally a long-term relationship or marriage. Uh, can be family involved as well. So it definitely feels in this energy, something has happened, some level of dissatisfaction uh, that's caused you to evaluate what is going to make you happy. And there's some decision that's needed here to do with dealing with this dissatisfaction. Because all these happy cups energies has been marred by this three of swords. Yes, this can be a card of third party situations. It can also be a card of something causing you emotional pain. Um, there's levels to this card, disappointment, pain, sorrow, truth, a truth coming out that cuts very deeply. So it feels for some of you, this happy, celebratory, unified energy has been completely uh, turned on its head here with the Three of Swords. However, with the Emperor, I mean, to be honest, you can be dealing with an Emperor he can also be Virgo, a father figure. So again, a father figure might be significant to you this, this week. Um, he's an energy of taking control, taking the initiative. Something that may be controlling you, you taking control of it, taking authority, taking charge. Uh, he's definitely somebody in his power. And it feels in this situation there is a need to take control of something, to deal with something in order to bring, you know, we have the four, which generally represents stability and security. Um, so the emperor understands how to make it happen. He's a great sign of success, um, power, authority, leadership. Um, but it's, he's also a card of, of, of stab stability for that reason, because he understands how to make things happen, how to take charge and bring real stability, you know, empire build, that kind of energy. So it definitely feels for some of you, there is a, a situation that needs to be dealt with or taken charge of. You might be also dealing with your emperor in whatever context, could be in terms of love, romance, relationships. But I feel the spirit is saying this needs to be dealt with some decision needs to be made. 
and it's how you move forward clearly there is an offer of love here it might well be somebody is apologizing or somebody is offering a love wants renewal of love here i feel this is to do with the ten of cups it feels like someone's sorry um someone wants renewal i mean this can also be emotional rebirth for you can you wipe the slate clean and open up and start over either in the relationship or do you want to go your own way? It feels like there's two paths available to you and you're making some choice or decision on how you want to move forward. This is about forward movement, the Eight of Wands, um, how you want to take action, what this Ace of Cups means to you. It's available to you, Virgo, which is the cup of joy, so happiness, uh, the beginnings of renewed happiness in yourself, self-love. Um, but also I definitely feel in this energy somebody is possibly apologizing or offering some peace offering, expression of love. Yeah. And there is a choice to make in terms of how you want to move forward. The Eight of Wands can also be some conversations here, conversations to help you decide how you want to move forward here but the eight of wands is generally about how you want to take action it's forward movement um progression you know that kind of energy and the two of wands is making choices about your future there are two paths ahead again with this judgment energy it's it's a message of just choose wisely um because it feels this choice or decision will be with you for some time so take your time to decide how, in some ways, just make sure you're clear in terms of how you want to move forward. Um, but it, feel, it feels there is a need to deal with something. There is some kind of call to action or judgment call to make. Let's get one more card, Virgo. Any other advice for Virgo, please? Any other advice for Virgo? A new beginning is available to you. It feels like there are two paths, however. So the choice is, the question is, what is going to make you happy? Um, and that's as simple as it gets. What is going to make you happy? And that's what Spirit is asking you. Choose the path that's going to make you happy. Okay. Any other advice for Virgo, please? Angels, Spirit's Guides. Any other advice for Virgo? Yep, that was to come. Okay. Justice. So it's doing the right thing. It's doing the right thing for you. It's doing the right thing for all concerned. This can also be to do with legal systems, government institutions as well, Virgo. Um, but it feels in this energy, if you're making some choice or decision, again, there's karma here. Wow, there's lots of karma. So something's happened here that has caused a lot of dissatisfaction and spirit is recognizing that you've got a reason to be unhappy here but there's definitely an energy of something needs to be dealt with because progress is available to you but you have two paths here so generally an energy of doing the right thing for you for all concern now um yeah and again karma actions have consequences this is you'll reap what you sow um you know uh it definitely feels for some of you that whatever choice or decision that you make feels like it's going to stay with you for some time so choose wisely okay final message for virgo please angels spirits guides i love that the fact the ace of cups real happiness the new beginning in happiness is available to you um or a renewed beginning uh, and recovery yeah it feels like somebody wants to yeah it definitely yeah that's what i'm feeling as well i'm definitely getting somebody wants to make it right with this ace of cups yeah i'm definitely getting this energy of whoever's done something wrong here with this three of swords in the relationship you know this could be you this could be the other person somebody wants to make it right and i'm getting that quite strongly 
I've got moderation. Is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and healthily, although the fairies say a little bit of what you fancy is fine. Yeah, it's just reminding you to take care of you, you know? Reminding you to focus on you now. Well, Virgo, so I hope that helped you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.